Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I have an absolute passion for all things hair in relation to styling, keeping and achieving the most healthiest head of hair, particularly around fine hair, but also what goes into giving those great styles for men and women's fine hair, which often means having to use heated appliances or colour or one thing or another, which eventually starts to take its toll on your hair. The product I'm going to be looking at today is by Phil Smith and it's the Total Treat Argan Oil Cream. Uh, it's kind of like a sort of a, a, a pre-styler, something more which nourishes the hair. It pumps that revitalization, that kind of renewal feeling whilst you're styling your hair. But it's a cream-based formula, so that's what we're going to be chatting about today. Okay, so you may notice that I have a lighter texture of hair. It is not natural, as you can see. It is chemically processed and it is highlights throughout my hair. Now, I had this done back in December and it's a product which I find that it's a really, really premium service. If you're going to have blonde hair, you need to kind of realise that from the offset, when you have that colour, from the very first time you walk out of the hairdressers, you need to then concentrate on looking after your hair completely differently from go. To be pretty honest with you, you need products which are going to look after your hair while styling, while you're washing your hair, while you're conditioning your hair. You're going to need to start really concentrating on the more moisture you can get into your hair, the better your blonde hair is going to look. Whether you're a man or woman, the principle is exactly the same. So today we are talking about the Phil Smith V Gorgeous Total Treat Argan Oil Cream. Now this is for dry, damaged, frequently styled hair with Moroccan Argan Oil, which we all know Moroccan Argan Oil is one of those sort of premium end products, which very often we look to for that nourishment, that revitalization, and hopefully that renewing factor um, of really putting our hair back to square one before we've done anything to it at all. Okay, so have I ever tried a Phil Smith product before? Yes, I have. You'll find it on my channel. And that was about volume. And that was a really, really good set. I really enjoyed using that. So if you are interested, I'll attach that at the end and you can have a look at that one because that is a really great product, which I would certainly recommend as well. Now, all about texture. How would you use this? Well, first of all, let me tell you a little bit more about it on the back here. So Argan Oil Cream. Phil Smith is an award-winning celebrity hairstylist with over 35 years of industry experience. The Phil Smith Be Gorgeous collection is part of Phil's essential tool kit and helps you to be gorgeous every day. So that word, number one, that really does bug me a little bit because I think everybody, men and women, want to look great with their hair. It's not just for women. And I think if you try to break the mould, um, being a man and you want a little bit more longer length of hair, perhaps you want to explore with colour, very often you can be judged and very often they can kind of put you in a stereotypical box. Um, and I just find that really quite unfair sometimes. So I always think that using words like that just kind of straight away aims it towards a more, um, well, towards women. And I think that products should try to be a little bit more careful of that because ultimately you could make this straight away a lot more sort of as, as a universal product. I absolutely totally get that there should be products aimed for men's hair and aimed for women's hair because of course ultimately they demand different things but that is probably the, the first thing on the packaging which bugs me about that. In terms of packaging really sort of usable, usable friendly um, again the sort of pump action on the top here gives you I would probably say you need a little bit more in one of the first pumps you use because it's quite a small amount from just pumping this uh, once. It's not very much at all. So I always use about four or five of these throughout my hair and I've got fine length hair, but rather a lot of it. But you can see it's fine textured, but um, I have got quite a lot of hair. Now, this here, it says on the back here, let's take you through it. So this here, this is the product we're talking about, Bradley. So here we go. So this oil and cream treatment will miraculously transform the texture of your hair into luscious, silky locks. It helps lock in moisture to nourish dry damaged hair and restore smoothness. smoothness. Prepare to be amazed the gloss and general gorgeousness. Yeah, again, not so keen on the wording there. Apply a pea-sized amount to damp hair, work through mid-lengths and ends, blow dry as usual, avoid contact with eyes. If contact occurs, rinse immediately. And this is a 150 mil, and I've been using this on and off for about the last two weeks. And I paid around the £5.50 mark, I think, and I bought this from a supermarket here in the UK called Sainsbury's. Um, and ultimately, I really, really like this product. Something I want to just uh, to sort of uh, just 
brings your attention on the front here, which I really, really like as well. Straight away, they often find that products put this on the back, but it's vitally important. And on the front here, it's recyclable packaging, it's cruelty free and vegan friendly. So I think that's really, really great. And I think that would probably open its, it would be more open to people buying it when you can see things like that, which are, which are companies being more responsible. They're catering for more people. Do you know what I mean? We're 2022 now. Products you do find are starting to be more responsible in their approach. And then in that, in that way, it helps us as consumers be more responsible as well. So it's great to know it's recyclable. It's great, of course, that it's cruelty free and vegan friendly, which you don't often see on a lot of hair products. That's really refreshing to see. So I really, really like that. Okay. So in terms of texture, so I'm just going to do this on my hand right in front of you here. So I always use a couple of these. Okay. And it's exactly like how you see, how you, how you see it. It's like a cream. So almost like a hand cream, to be quite honest with you. And then what you do is then when you've got damp hair, so I'm not going to do it straight away here, but when you've got damp hair, okay, apply that throughout your hair. I would say stay away from the roots, but lengths and ends of your hair, really, really great. It's a product which I would only say to use on damp hair. And that is just because if you use it on dry hair, which I have, okay, and I can say that from experience, from uh, using it on dry hair, it does tend to make the hair quite almost um, like you've got a, a real cream product in it, which I know, of course, strange to strange to speak of being it is a cream uh, styling product or like a pre-styler, whatever you want to call it. But of course, don't forget, it's all about uh, dried hair, damaged hair, real styled hair, which is going to be styled often. So it's all about getting in there, breaking that mold up and repairing those bonds in the hair, nourishing the hair and hopefully bringing it back to that real nice healthy sort of sheen. I wanted to show you because often products like this can be really tacky and greasy. So I've just rubbed that on my hands, okay? And it's absolutely fine. I can touch my desk here, no problem whatsoever. And I can pick things up because it is drying straight away. So strangely, why would it be that if you put it on dry hair, it can often make the hair a little bit greasy? No idea. Because I can touch everything now and it doesn't make my hair feel um, doesn't make <laughs> doesn't make the things which I'm picking up sort of grease or anything like that at all. Once it's dry, what I do occasionally do, not very often in the past two weeks, is just those single hairs. It's just to smooth them out. So if you if you sort of can be quite troubled with things like that, sort of those sort of static hairs, rub a small amount on your hands. I and mean, as you can see, I use quite a bit there. And then when it's dried, take it through your hair and then it just kind of uniforms the hair and it just brings back kind of that clarity of the hair straight away. So it controls frizz, which it doesn't mention it does that on the actual bottle, but it ultimately does do that. Now, a wet product, I would always say, always use on wet hair. Dry products use on dry hair, hasten to add. But with this, there are multiple uses. So as you can just see, it's great for what I've just done. A few pumps in the hands, rub it around your hands. OK, it's not uncomfortable. I've got very dry hands at the moment. I suffer with really dry skin and often at the nape of my neck as well. This doesn't make me feel uncomfortable, itchy. Number one, I'm not trying to get it onto my roots because I don't want to run that risk of making them feel flat and quite oily. I like character in my hair, even though if I pass a straightener through it, it's nice to have a bit of character, a bit of sort of natural texture in the hair. This doesn't it doesn't sort of um, hinder that at all. It doesn't make the roots feel oily, but just be careful. If you do get a little bit in there, not a problem, then I would just say use a blow dryer and sort of just make sure that you dry that product thoroughly throughout the hair. Ultimately, turning it around, use a little bit through your hands and let, letting it dry and then just sort of uniforming, sort of making you just smooth the hair throughout. And ultimately, you get a really great sort of look. I mean, look at that. Those sort of single hairs, which you can kind of see throughout my root hairline there, just smooths everything, makes it look really, really sleek, really, really nice. I really, really like that. So ultimately, this is a great product. It's strange if you start off with dry hair, and if I was to run this all throughout my hair now, and then go on and use a straightener, you do get like you just rubbed a real heavy cream throughout your hair. So don't be doing that. But ultimately, it's a great product. Does it look after uh, dry ends, really ultra styled hair? Yes, I absolutely would say that. I have used this this morning on damp hair, and you can see that my hair isn't damaged anyway, but it is a little bit dry towards the ends because of course it's bleached. There's no getting away from that. If you've got chemicals on your hair, bleach, hair colouring, if you're using heat on your hair, the ends and lengths of your hair are going to have a different texture. Doesn't mean to say they're absolutely obliterated, but they need a little bit more nourishment. They need a little, little bit more time and care and consideration. So products such as these, I absolutely love. It's great because if you've got a finer hair type, then you may be using heat on it more to achieve that volume, to achieve that sort of big 
the lunchrest look, whether you're a woman sat there and you've got that amazing flowing locks, but it's on the finer side, it can still look amazing, but of course you need to use heat. So a product like this is going to be absolutely super cool and amazing for you and really deliver and give you those great styles. If you're a man watching this and you've got hair like me, or if you've got that thick sort of curly hair, which often can get frizzy, this through damp hair and then sort of just letting it air dry would be absolutely great throughout your hair and really give you control, definition and really make your style look good as well. If you're a lady sat there and you've got curly hair as well, this is going to be amazing for you too because it ultimately looks after, yes, the lengths and ends, but it gives you that definition and that control as you can see. No sort of single hair standing out here. So if you've got that wave in your hair, this is going to really look after and uniform those waves in your hair as well. So ultimately a really, really great product. Now, as you can see, a couple of minutes ago, I rubbed that all throughout my hands. No redness, nothing like that at all. Yes, you can see a bit of a sheen on there. That is because my hands are slightly damp, I'll be honest. Sweaty palms, yeah, not great at all. But not greasy whatsoever. As you can see, I'm touching my desk, touching the products here. All sorts. Not a problem at all. Would not have any issues with picking up anything there at all. Um, what else did I want to bring you to that? I think that brings us to a smooth, pardon the pun, end. It's a product which I absolutely love. I've been using it on and off, I want to say two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks now. It's something which really transforms the look and the ends of the hair and just puts that condition back into the hair. Bearing in mind, always start off with products which are going to work for you. So for example, if you've got fine textured hair, don't then use something for curly hair, okay? So I know that seems as though we've gone completely off the beaten track here, but if you've got damaged hair, don't think to yourself, oh, I'm not going to use that, I'm just going to carry on. Because in the end, you will find that your hair will just start to break, it will start to become ultra porous, and it will just look completely naff. And your colour, which you probably spent pounds on, whether you're a man or a woman, or if you're a man sat there and you style your hair, if your hair starts to break, to be honest, it's just going to look dried out and naff. Do not shy away from buying products which say dry or damaged hair on there, okay? Don't, because everybody has that. It is really not a thing to concern yourself with at all. Ultimately, if you start using products like this, prevention is better than cure. So turning it around again, even if you haven't got dry or damaged hair, using a product like this adds a lot more to the hair. So then prevention is really going to keep you away from ever, ever getting that dry, damaged hair. So this is a really, really great product. Being it's almost like a creamy sort of texture, okay, it really does put like a level of moisture in the hair, what you don't necessarily get from just a conditioner. Of course, because once you've washed that off, you go throughout the day of sort of, um, sort of elements in the air if we're in the winter or if you're watching this and we're in the summer you get the sun you get the, the sort of the rain all those strong gales winds it does take an effect you've only got to go out and, and sort of feel those effects on your face the hair feels that as well if you're working from home quite a lot and you've got the central heating on those type of effects as well in your hair if you've got bleached or highlighted like what i have got at the moment or if you color your hair often this is going to be a product which you can keep styling your hair keep coloring your hair it's going to be looking great it's going to give you that nourishment that shine which by the way as you can see and blonde hair is really high hard to get a shine, really, really hard to get, achieve a shine on hair. This does that. So I absolutely love this. I don't like the wording on the product. I don't particularly like that and I don't really particularly like the colour. But ultimately, it is a really, really great product and I absolutely wholeheartedly recommend this. If you do have any questions or anything for me at all, please leave them down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. But ultimately, I absolutely love this product and I will continue to use it and certainly purchase it again and again and again. So really, absolutely, if you find this one, you can purchase it online, okay. Um, I see it quite often in now because I've been there a couple of times. Um, I see it quite often in Sainsbury's, okay. And I've been to several in my uh, sort of location where I am in the world. Um, so I know that Sainsbury's stock Phil Smith products, um, but you can find this online. So sort of just be a little bit aware of that. If it's something you want to try and you are struggling to find it, just be a little bit cautious, perhaps sort of plan ahead, that type of thing. And do, do kind of shop around because these products, as you do know, vary in cost rather considerably. Okay. Thanks very much for sharing this clip with me. And as ever, it means the world to me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.